That's what you're after, I think. Wow. Hello. Hello. Yeah. I want to be heard, goddammit. I think we've got Can't Jonathan. Oh. There we go, Hello. I hear you. We've got you. Yeah, He's yeah, on. yeah, we got it. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Mandy, right. had, Mandy had the same problem as well. So yes, rushing on through. Hey there, guys, it's Sylvie, your host, and we're playing Lawnmower Simulator with Jonathan. There you are. Hi. Hello. Tech support ended. Okay. Not much of... Okay. Oh, look at that grass. Begin the mowing. The mowing Begin has the mowing. begun. The mowing has begun. We are mowing. Here we go. Ground check phase. There's a ground check phase. So we yeah. can't we can't just drag race mow the lawn. At the start of each contract you have a small period of time to find and remove any objects on the grass area that could affect Effect damage or damage your vehicle. You can choose to skip the ground check and automatic have the object removed by something the mower equipment, but this will me mean you don't earn money or RP. Well, well, screw that then. Four objects. We must find the objects. There's a gnome. Oh dear, not a gnome on the college gardens. We are going to mow lawns. And there's one more object to find. Aha! And a frisbee. A frisbee, you said? Ah, yeah. Ground check complete. Return to vehicle! Here we go. Here we go. Okay, right. He's he's looking. He's looking well excited with himself. He's like Engage! What's, the, what's, that I, what's that I hear in the background? Fast and furious! Um, your performance during the cutting will affect our performance points. You need to find a balance between speed and careful driving. Avoid damaging the flowers. What? what, what oh, I'm, I'm cutting too high apparently. You were cutting at the wrong height. What, what height do you want, love? Just, 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 just cut trenches. Just oh, cut. cutting height between five and six. Ah. Okay, so I'll, I'll cut it at six. This, this is like shockingly detailed. This well, is like yeah, it's a simulator. That's the entire point. Like it simulates. There's a bunch. There's a bunch of middle-aged men right now that are playing this game and feeling like ultra excited. Oh, you see, you gotta control. You gotta control your speed. As this, well. look, this looks too technical for me. I think you're. I think you're gonna be head honcho for this stream session tonight. You I see, was... all these all these edges are missing. I can I can get with the weed whacker. Because I, I was just genuinely hoping that I'd be able to go drag racing over the lawns and write my initials into it. Write a big S in the middle of the lawn. <laughs> no, no. Too many people do. Too many people do that. This is this is. People come for good quality. Lawnmower in action. 
But, but, but how are they supposed to know that it's Sylvie or Host if I don't write my initial into the middle of the lawn like a vandal? Uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe the fact that there's a giant lawnmower blade on the back of our t-shirt, the company's called Silver Mowers, and the main character that you've made is called Johnny Silverton. Yeah, Johnny Silver. Yes, like Johnny Quest or Johnny Silverhand, but slightly less destructive. It's a damn good time. It's a damn good time. This is this this is honestly the strangest experience yeah. for the channel, but I am um, I don't regret it. I no, but the thing is, while we're doing this casual game, we can talk about things. You wish to discuss because I'll tell you something, right? I was watching another another streamer. That I watch, um, it it just um, it was still it was still going, but someone came in his chat and was like, "I like video games, but I don't like it when they stick like too much woke listening to it." And he was like, "What what the hell are you talking about?" Like, well, I've well, never well, understood. Well, mowing the lawn. Yeah. We we've also shocked Novi. Novi's, well, what's Novi said. Novi's like Novi's like, "What the hell, Silver?" Yes, we're playing Lawn Mower Simulator. Mower overloaded. Your mower loader at the, the bottom right hand screen. The overload. Driving too fast, cutting too much grass at once. You suffer engine damage and cut quality effects. Oh wow, so we've even overloaded the engine. Yeah, Novi, some top tier content. You, si you said to me the other night, right? Play something. Play anything. Play anything at all? Yeah, lawn mower simulator. We're mowing yeah. the lawn. There are so many people that are gonna come in tonight and be like, "What in the world is this?" It's, it's, this is the best quality content you've ever seen in your life. Power wash simulator. Eat the eat your heart out. We're mowing the yeah, lawn. Yeah, eat out. Although this section of the grass, you do need to adjust your throttle. Because it's overloading the hopper. <laughs> there you go. Silver, the only the only thing more boring you could have done is fishing. I mean, I'm 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 scared of fish, so that wouldn't happen. But you know. Yeah. It's all right. Oh, like I said, yeah. Resident Evil, inferior. GTA, substandard. Power Wash Simulator, nope. It's all about mowing the lawn tonight. It's all about cushioning that bush. <laughs> yes. Giggle, giggle. Giggle, giggle, giggle. Oh, no. Anyway, yeah. Anish initially, the company which wanted to call it um, Silver's Bushwhackers. Uh, but it wouldn't but fit. It, it, it wouldn't fit. I, I'm just waiting for the large group of people to turn up in chat like, what is happening? I'm waiting for it. There's going to be more. There's absolutely yeah, going to be more. We just wish to educate people on the fine kung fu esque art of mowing the lawn. Yeah, so now let's actually have a look at the weed whacker and see. How do you. Ice skating sim. Marcus says, I'm quite the fan of this game. I have it on PS4. Also, Hi, Silver and Jonathan and chat. Hey, see, Marcus enjoys Lawnmower Simulator. We're gonna use the string thinner. What 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 are we doing here? Well, basically, these these sections here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'm actually astounded the more I watch. I'm just going to let you have at it, and I'm going to watch for the time being. Like, I'm genuinely enthralled. You see, if you go too close, yeah, you see, you see it, leaves, it doesn't damage the flowers. Yeah. Wait, people pay money for something they could do IRL for free? Leomon, you would be surprised the amount of people who don't mow their own lawn and pay somebody else to do it. 
you I wouldn't be... You know, it's not always necessarily, surprise. like, because they're lazy and stuff like that. Sometimes it might be just because they're, like, they're old. Yeah. Like, I don't see the... Honestly, I would pay somebody to cut my own grass. Like, I would. Genuinely. Leomon says it lacks the smell of freshly cut grass 2 out of 10. We're going to get that game of smell box that's come out then, and, um... You're going to be able to smell the freshly cut grass. Yeah, is that an actual, like, thing? They're bringing it out, yeah, it's in a... It's been developed right now. I'm not even joking, either. Well, the thing is, it's a final frontier of, like, gaming, isn't it? I wouldn't... I honestly wouldn't want to get, like, the gamer smell box in and play Resident Evil 2, you know? Like, no, but you don't do it for that game, you do it for, like, the other games. I can never tell if you're joking or not. Oh, with regards... Oh, do you mean with regards to people actually not mowing their own lawns? Yeah, that wasn't sarcasm. <laughs> oh, Jacob, you've made my day. Sup, lads? What astoundingly high-quality content have I missed here? My boy, sit down, grab a Foster's, oh, cuddle a kangaroo. That. It's Lawnmower Simulator. Can we scratch the car on the way out? <laughs> I mean, if one of us was winning, yeah. Go oh, leave location. Leave. Not, not that silver. The game smell thing. Oh no no no, Leo Mon. <clears throat> uh, that's actually real. I'm gonna send. A, I'm gonna put a link in chat. Pull up a seat anyway, Jacob. We are indeed mowing the lawn. Wait there. Here we go, Leo Mom. It's in early access. It's called Game Scent, and it lets you smell the game's world while playing using AI. And it's going to cost a hundred and fifty dollars. Can you imagine? Can you imagine Resident Evil 2 with the game Smellbox? Hey, I don't want to. It's actually there. Leomon, there's a real link. It's genuine. I wasn't kidding. I was. I was actually being serious. Look at that! Cut Fast line. and furious! Dream. 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 I mean, have you ever seen that film about that guy that goes halfway across America on a lawnmower? No, but I, I would love to listen to some initial D music while mowing the lawn. R yeah. Mowing in the 90s! Mowing in the 90s, boys. Or mowing yeah. in the 90s. But no, I think it's based on a true story. And basically, these two brothers lived on opposite sides of America. Um, and they get, like, they had this feud. And they, they end up, like, not speaking to each other for, like, 20 years. Or something like that. And then he finally hears that his brothers, like, might be dying. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's like, he's either his brother's dying, or he gets sick of just having this feud. So he wants to basically, um... Oh, I'll destroy the flower. Excellent, sorry. He wants to basically um, go across America to like reconcile with his brother. Uh, but <laughs> he doesn't like, he can't drive due to his eyesight. Yeah. And he doesn't like other people in the driving seat. Right. So rather than like getting a bus or a train or a plane, he takes his lawnmower, puts all his. <laughs> so Marcus Frankenstein says, Is there a walking simulator? If there is, we may have to play it. And Suki says, oh, that reminds me, I need my lawn mowed. But yeah, basically takes all his earthly possessions, puts it in his lawn mower, and then just goes across, like, America to reconcile with his brother. Sounds like a spiffing good time. Twilight, oh. Twilight moving film. 
a, a walking simulator sounds dreadful, to be honest. The idea well, is... Well, do you remember... Did you ever play that, skip, that game at school? The one where you had to do the 100 meter dash, but you had to, like, control, like, the entire guy's body, and it would, like, just flop around? Are you talking about a video game or the bleep test? Because I'm sure you're well aware I couldn't do the bleep test. Um, no, no, a, a video game. Oh, no. The only way you can't do the bleep test. No, 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 no. I actually haven't. I haven't seen the video game as it were. I mean, I mean, you, you could do the bleep test, but the bleeps would have to be very, 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 very far apart. Maybe when I was a very young kid. Now I just do myself an injury. Um. You see, now we're getting into the nitty gritty of it. We're getting to all the awkward angles. Wait there, there's a hashtag blame Jonathan in chat. Oh, what do you mean, hashtag blame Jonathan? What did I do? I don't know what, I don't know, I'm trying to get caught up. Yeah, you read the chat, because I, 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 I'm actually, it takes a lot, a lot of, like, concentration. That's fine, you keep mowing. Um, Jacob, for the first time ever, I'm watching a stream and wondering which bottle under the sink would taste best. <laughs> oh, Leo Bob. Leobot's not embracing the lawn mowing like we are. She's missing out. She's missing out. I'm, I'm just sitting here for the giggles. This is like, I'm giving Jonathan full control of tonight's festivities. I'm just happy to read chat and rebound off his talking. He's having such a good time. Honestly, I am. Because I don't have a garden, so I can't cut the, I can't cut the grass. I can um, go and touch grass, but I can't cut the grass. <laughs> I'm just curious to see how many views this stream ends up with by the end of the night. That's Mate, my this is gonna, this is, this is gonna be a most popular stream. People, send it out. All, all, all fellow streamers in the chat, unite. <laughs> Marcus Frankenstein mm. says, I'm going to watch Lawnmower Man, the Lawnmower Man movie because of this, as you should, sir. There's a Lawnmower Man movie. Apparently they're it. I'm gonna Google that. I'm actually gonna yeah. Google that. I think if it is, I think it's played by uh, the guy oh. who played Waterboy. The Lawnmower Man, 1982. The Lawnmower Man is a science fiction horror film directed by Brett Leonard. Uh, obviously, apart from the obvious, what's the like the premise of it? Was to go and read the synopsis to us, convince us. It has actually nothing to do with lawn mowing. <clears throat> right. Here we go. A man with an intellect... Oh, sorry. A man with a learning disability turns into a genius when a doctor experiments on him. He soon begins to display telepathic abilities and has hallucinations. Based on The Lawn Mower Man by Stephen King. Apparently a science fiction. It's it's a bat. Yeah, okay. Apparently it's saying here I've damaged the ground, but I don't know how I've damaged the ground. <laughs> Leo would say, oh sorry, Suki saying someone on my street is mowing right now. OMFG. Moreception. You've got lawn mowing and lawn mowing and more lawn mowing. I'm mowing with my mower, boys. I'm mowing with my mower, and it doesn't use blade, it uses bullets to mow the grass. Bullets yeah. with razor blades attached. Very good. Hey, a Japanese horror movie sounds good, Marcus. Good, good. It's gonna get so confusing with two Marcuses in chat. It's gonna be like Markception. A Marcus and a Marcus and a Marcus. I know. Two Marcuses. You can never get enough Marcus, I don't think. There can always be more. Right. <clears throat> now, we've got the majority of it. Yeah. Leomon says this stream is cursed. You wait until we get to the two hour mark. Yeah. <laughs> now, we've been doing this for 16 minutes. Recommended time is 26 minutes. 
So we've got um, ten minutes to kind of finish off the extras. So this needs doing, this little section here. So you see, it's all these little touches here that's going to... You see, the I'm, time. Aw I'm aware that hiring a, lo um, a lawnmower guy to do your garden it is as simple as, you know, paying a guy with a lawnmower. I didn't think he came with a full-blown freaking, you know, automatic lawnmower. Silver, are you suggesting that we do not give the finest quality grass cutting? <laughs> I'm just saying, I didn't, I didn't think we came with an industrial-sized, drivable lawnmower and a bunch of trimming tools. Mate, mate, if you go, if you go to do, like the dodgy council estate and just find find dodgy Tony, it's like, hey, Tony, come on, grass for me, you know, <laughs> and he comes with a pair of scissors and a, a, a pack of tobacco cigarettes. That you know, <laughs> have a good time. All right, but, so yeah. it's Bubbles Law, and I'll give you, I'll give you a five and some backer. Oh god. <laughs> basically. Do you know what the funny thing is? Basically, it's like here at, at the Silver Mowing Corporation. One of my dad's old workmates actually lived down a, down a dodgy council estate and was called Tony. So that's actually really tickling me. And he was dodgy as hell. Well, yeah, that's why he's called Dodgy Tony. You don't, call, you don't get a name like Dodgy Tony for being, like, no, not dodgy. His, his name wasn't Dodgy Tony, but. The, the guy was ah, a. I've destroyed a flower. Apparently, the guy was a freaking habitual klepto. He could steal to order. Apparently, apparently, Dad was saying that a lot of um, a lot of his workmates knew that Tony could steal to order. Do hence, dodgy Tony. And he was a compulsive gambler as well. He was always in the betting shop. No, that's a shame. Jacob says, what magic happens after two hours, Silver? Are you going to pull out a weed whacker? Damn right. Damn this right. Is the weed we may even put some dynamite in gopher holes. Oh, yeah. Honest, honestly, one of the, like, one of the funniest things you ever heard. I basic, basically, this guy had, like, gophers in his garden in America. Right. And rather than, you know, hire, like, them to be humanely, like, taken out, he filled the hole with gasoline and then set it on fire. And the gopher obviously ran out engulfed in flames and <laughs> ran into his ran into his garden shed where it sadly died. But it set his garden shed on fire. Jesus Christ. Oh no, that's terrible. I mean, it's, it's terrible, but I mean the garden is it. It's the tone of voice you talk. It ran into the kit it's ran into the garden shed. And then set the garden shed on fire. I just I buckled when you were like, it set the garden shed on fire. Sometimes uh, yeah. it's not what people say, it's the way they say it. <clears throat> no, I've never seen a riding lawnmower. I can't say I have. Well, you don't tend to get them in England. Very few people have gardens big enough. Because land is such a premium in England. Bloody well is, Like, gar know? gardens gardens are like a set size. Like, most people I know as a kid that had a big enough garden that required, like, a sit on lawnmower, like, have them built, like, second houses there. Because, you know, land's a premium. Yeah. One of, one of my ex-girlfriends had a very big house out in, out in like, a literal frickin' village in the Tory Hamlets. Like, really, like, her frickin' foster family. Suki's, Suki's actually made a point that she's like, lawns are so big where she is that a riding, a riding lawnmower is an actual requirement here. Yeah. Yeah, like an actual requirement. Jacob says, I used to get around and mow three acres on a ride lawnmower growing up. So yeah, apparently um, even Jacob has done some of the, um, the lawnmower riding. It's at a premium. There's some interesting lawnmowers out there. Um, because obviously in farming, people use grass as like a way to rejuvenate the soil. Because it pulls all the nutrients from lower grounds to the top. Yeah. So obviously you need quite a big lawnmower for that. Um, so there's a lawnmower attachment that you can buy for tractors. I mean, it costs like two million. That's something yeah. stupid. Yeah. Uh, but it's got a 14 meter width. That's the I, cutting width. 14 I meters. 
I imagine we've lost Leomon for the night now because Riolu's just gone live with Pokemon. What? Uh, and like, are you, are you are you suggesting a small child ringing around beating up strangers for money is more engaging than me owning a day's bread? No. I'm just saying that if it's a choice between Pokemon and lawn mowing, Leomon's gonna pick with Pokemon every time. Yeah, I suppose. <clears throat> if she's still here, then she's gonna be like, yeah, in about two minutes. It's fine. It's okay, right, we're I'll, on, um, we're on, we're I'll on give 80%. her some... I'll give her some classic, um... Some classic Resident Evil frickin' 2. In a little while, anyway. My way of uh, saying thank you for swinging by. Did ah, here we go. Here we go. Here's last. Alright, we're getting we're getting closer. We're getting closer. We're eighty five and a half percent. And then the first loan more then the first loan down. Where's You see we're getting sort of really really like nitty gritty now. Yeah. Like little patches here and there. Surely there's got to be like a big patch somewhere that I've missed. <laughs> you're like, you're, you're like literally on 99%. Have you got to do the full 100? No, um, this contract, um, you need 99% to be able to like end the contract. Even, I, 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 I th even Dave is like, what in the world is this? <laughs> Hello, Dave. Hello, Guys, Dave. <laughs> we're, we're playing lawnmower simulators, it's a nightmare. I told you, my amusement here would be everyone's reactions and seeing how many views this gets by the end of tonight. That is my entertainment. Yeah. Jonathan is currently yeah. mowing lawns for us. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm cutting the bush. Cutting the bush. Yeah. This right. is also this is also like a litmus test for me. How many views? <laughs> Dave's like you missed a bit. We know he's trying to find it. Yeah, I'm trying to find it. I'm on ninety-eight percent. Nearly at ninety-nine, and I need ninety-nine to be able to like Oh, Marcus says there's a button you can press that will show um you what grass is left over to be cut. Okay. Press into the buttons. Yeah, Marcus, can you find that button for us? Because I'm like very curious. Con controls. Dead zone. It doesn't Steven say, Wheel. does it? This is also a litmus test for me. How much can a 13... How many how many views can a 1300 sub channel get for playing lawn mode and simulator for a few F hours? F-O... Oh, field of view. Right, uh, pressing all the buttons. Up, down, left, right. Not engaged. Engaged. Not engaged. No, that, that, uh, no that's the that's that's the, for the blade. Okay. He's, this is like so precise. It's all around the edges. Yeah. Oh, the amount of precision required here is actually irritating me. <laughs> oh God. Oh, you can tell here uh, I've damaged it because I've, I've cut it too much. Right. So if you drive over a section too much, it can damage the grass. Which is interesting. Right, one more percent.
Have we almost got it? Where is it? Where be? Do you guess, Ben? There's another four percent after this. Oh! Oh yes! Cut to complete. You sound... With the cut to complete, you now need to store your vehicle equipment. Then, <coughs> is it with the pickup truck to leave the location? If you have left grass clippings on the path or flower beds, you can pick them up before leaving to avoid a cleaning fee. The fact that somebody made this with such precision. That's a good location. Like, I've got to actually give um, give credit. Like the sheer amount of precision that has gone into somebody doing this. <laughs> oh, Jacob in chat. The tension between his mouth and the shotgun was getting immense. He's glad you finished. You, you people. They, I told you they don't appreciate top quality they content. They don't appreciate <laughs> the best top quality content you've seen in your life. Like, mate, J Jonathan, mate. Yeah? Like, panties are dropping, pussies are wet at this content. Oh my lord, calm down. Calm down. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. You see, Jonathan is genuinely freaking. Yes, felines are damp over this content. Just in case YouTube is making any sort of unfair judgments. Oh yeah, if you oh. hold if you hold the right stick button uh, in, I assume it uh, lets you know what needs to be done. Okay, hold it in. Let but yeah, that. all done. Just just all so done. just so YouTube's algorithms and robots don't get the wrong idea, right? Felines are wet with excitement over this. They are damp and have been left out in the rain. Yes, that is what is happening. Felines specifically, not anything else. But, um, what was I going to say? So, yeah, uh, ground object dis ground object destroyed. Flowers destroyed. Um, so I got, no. So flowers... I I mean, that wasn't, that wasn't bad. Silver, are you seriously trying to save this stream right now? Yes! All 20 pence of that ad rev, ad rev, yeah. damn it. All 20 pence. <laughs> oh, I'll give you 20 pence next time I see you. That's alright. I can I mean, deal. I mean, the thing is, this is for mature audiences. I'm, I'm, I'm saying the word that I said. Like, come on, it's acceptable considering what some other people say. <laughs> You've got a point. This vehicle is in the garage, eh? You can fix damaged vehicles, store something, purchase additional this parts. This is the thing, can... right? This is the thing, right, chat? Jonathan is taking this 110% seriously, and for me, this is literally just... This is, this is just comedy. I'm just enjoying it for the comedy aspect it's generating. Just people's responses as they're coming in are entertaining enough for me. Alex says, has Silver gone off Yu-Gi-Oh forever? I'm not. I'm just kind of fed up with the modern game right now. Edison, I'm still happy with, but just I don't know. The modern game is just. You know, I'm sick of my, I'm sick of my deck needing 15 hand traps. I'm sick of like the only goal of the game being to negate your opponent out of playing. Set up a board over 20 minutes and then go for the OTK. I want an actual exchange. I miss old Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, that's basically about it. I don't want to have to go up against a deck with 15 hand traps that's going to have seven different ways of negating me out of play, shutting down my entire hand and then taking me out in one turn. It's not fun. It's not fun at all. And like, I don't mind it to a point. Are they planning another right. Edison week? Like, they're going to have two. Um, I'm like, I'm, I will, 
I'm legit happy with Edison. I don't mind Edison, I will I will be there for Edison. Old Yuki always good. When did you hear this anyway, dude? Like, my problem is not with Edison, I love Edison Yu-Gi-Oh. Anyway. Let's get some more of this top quality, 10 out of 10, earth-shattering content going. Oh, uh, yeah. This is, the, this is the thing that confused me, is you, you have to assign someone to the contract. Right. But yeah, it still says it's a single player, so there must be like AI options later on. Can we get somebody called Brenda and assign Big Brenda to Lawn Mowing? Oh yeah. Get yeah, out, love, I'll mow your lawns for you. Yeah. Don't you worry about it, love, no, I'll get it going really, I'll well call nice. that grass, I'll, I'll get that grass, it will look, it will look, look pristine. Yeah, yeah right, darling, finished. I'll get your lawn mowed for you, right? Good, just give us a pint and a slap on the ass afterwards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Now what you remember when you slap the arse, you gotta linger and give it a squeeze. Oh Jesus mm. Christ, you're making it worse. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so the person was like, oh yeah, slap my arse, love. <laughs> right, oh. objects. We must find the objects. I'm trying to give the people entertainment. <laughs> I'm trying. I do like the wrong way around, dude. I'm not keen on modern, but I love Edison. Wrong way around, dude. There's a gnome! It's a good gnome! Now I can see your messages. I do not love hand traps, dude. I do not love, like, 12 cards of a 40 card modern deck all having to be hand traps. Wonder why I couldn't see it before, dude. That was weird. That was a hand trap. Like a mouse trap. No, basically something in Yu-Gi-Oh! where if they're like, say for example, I play a card that allows me to bring something into my hand, they can go, no, this tra this card in my hand prevents it and shut you out. Oh, let us begin. Right, so what's the, what's the cutting height they want? Seven. Okay, so we'll go for the highest. We're gonna go seven. Cutting... Cut grass range. Um, 13 to 20 centimeters. I don't get what that one is. Are we ready for more? Yeah. I just honestly, right? You know what my overall goal is? If if this stream gets to 50 views by the time we finish, I will literally be celebrating. Also, I think Luna's dreaming. Luna? Oh, bless her. I'm just gonna check on her. Yeah, I've got Luna with me today. Yeah, right? Okay, so get this. I've got the, um, I've got the, uh, PS5 in the bedroom. And, um, she's laid vertically across the bed. With, with like her butt against the radiator laid vertically across the bed with her legs in the air and she's she's just breathing all relaxed and she's like oh, comfy dog not bless please don't DQ me dude Frankenstein says <clears throat> I was saying real life mowing is more fun than this game I mean to be fair I'm actually, the, 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 sh the sheer conversational aspect of this game and like the chaos it's causing just me trying to breathe life into this is, that's my amusement. What do you mean so. breathe life? No, is this, is this, are you not entertained? Is this not the content you came for? I don't know, folks in chat, is it the content you came for? No, I it's mean, the content <laughs> they needed. It's the content they needed, and Jonathan insists upon it. He insists upon it. You shall. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like one of them, uh, like American Baptist says. You shall do this thing, or you shall live in sin. Oh, you uh, shall. You shall mow the lawn in the name of the Lord. Oh, the Lord. Oh, praise Jesus. You shall bless it. If you don't, you shall have the belt of the devil upon you. <laughs> Thank you. 
And, uh, and it was said that on the seventh day the Lord ascended to the heavens and let us all mow the lawns of the Garden of Eden. And we oh. all found salvation. Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Praise oh, the Lord. When the mow worker comes in. Oh, when the lawn mower comes in, I want I'm to gonna be. be cutting along. Oh, when the lawn mower comes in, let it go Oh, when the lawns come mowing in, oh, when the lawn come mowing in, I wanna be in that rumba. Oh, oh when, when the, the lawns come mowing in. <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, can I get an old man in chat? Oh, an old man. man in chat! <laughs> oh no. Hold on. <laughs> Space Ghost says talk about grazing awareness with this lawnmower game. Yeah, damn right. Not the content we needed, nor the con- Oh, sorry, not the content we wanted, nor the content we needed. <laughs> <laughs> but when Jonathan looks at you wearing his crash helmet with that glazed look in his eyes, you just can't say it, no. <laughs> <laughs> Gla a glazed look. Who said that? John, uh, sorry, Jacob. Oh, God. Lawn and Order Special Systems Unit. I thought this would be your... I thought this would be your jam space, Ghost. You, you love lawn mowers. I've got to be honest, like, there is an unnatural amount of serotonin in my brain from playing this game right now, and I just don't quite know how to respond to it. Well, and that's what it is, that's what, well, that's what it is, it's a game, it's the game you needed, like... If this stream like, gets bonked as well, right, the person who goes to manual review it is going to be like, how the hell is Blawn Mower Simulator needing manual review? Oh, that's the fun of it. That's the fun of it. Well, maybe maybe that's what we did. Maybe we deliberately like DQ'd it just a little bit, so people at YouTube can watch and go, "Do you know what this 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 content? Best content I've seen in my life." Yeah. Let's boo, let's, let's, let's space goes boo. Sorry, I'm just booing at space goes. Do fine. Let's let's give this let's give this um this creator partner. YouTube could, partnership could, from Lawnmower Simulator. Could you imagine? Could you imagine getting partner from Lomo Simulator? That that that's where it's at. Luna's just woken up and is now suddenly nibbling herself. Hey Loons. Come here you. Hey. Hey monster. Hey. You get comfy. There we go. Me and Jonathan Oh, big yawn. Big yawn. Me and Jonathan are just mowing lawns, little one. Yes. Yes, can I have a paw? Hey, no. Now we're, we've overstimulated the poor girl. Sleepy yawn. You okay? I'm just gonna chat with the dog. Oh, hey, no. How are we? Comfy. Comfy puffer. Comfy puffer. Yeah. Yeah. There we oh, are. Oh yeah, look at all that. Ha oh, ha, do you want pets? Give me a sec, I'm just gonna go over and pet the dog while you mow the lawn. Yes, yeah, sponsored by John Deere indeed. Come here then, monster. It's a good job I've got the long headset on. Come and have a pet. There we go. There's a good girl. Tommy rubs. You gotta you gotta you gotta imagine John John Deere, the second biggest like manufacturer of like industrial farming equipment next to JCB. Yeah. Hey, Although we'll say JCB is interesting. You, it, it's virtually impossible to go on any building site in the world and find something that's not um, JCB. Yeah. Because it's that, it's that, it's that, it's, it's that popular, and it is that much of like a dominating brand. It's like, it's like Microsoft. Like you cannot um, find like any manufacturing chain in the world that doesn't involve Microsoft. Like, if it involves a computer, there you go, Microsoft. The dog's just look, I've just pet the dog and the dog's looking at me as if to say, more pets please. Go on then. Your little fangies out nah, for. Nah, your little fangies small. out for. You showing your little, she's, she's, laid, she's laid back so comfortably. It's like, our little fangies are poking out. Hey you, you get comfy. Have a nap. 
have a nap. Good girl, Ian. Yeah. Good girl. Oh, yeah. Let's read oh, chat. Yeah. yeah, catch up with chat. Let's, 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 let's see the intellect that has been shared today. Silver, where is 304 Holloway Road? I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, why do I have a sudden and inexplicable headache? Who? You? Me. It's probably how boisterous I was getting a minute ago. I mean, how much liquids have you drunk today? That's like, I'm gonna say liquid, I mean like H2O based, not fizzy. I probably need some more. Doc. Doc. Hello. Yes, miss. How are we? Are you just going to look at me? Miss, miss. Dog is just looking at me as if to say, More pets, please, I am here. Yeah, there we go, then. Good girl. Good girl. I've got to say, I really appreciate how this lawnmower can, like, turn on a dime. Real smooth turning. Yeah. It's a smooth operator. <laughs> smooth operator. Marcus says, now you're making me want to play. As we should. As yes. we should. Yes. Sure, we shall all be playing the lawnmower simulator. <laughs> we shall all, ma all mow the lawns together, sir. Absolutely And we spiffing. all mow together. Anyway, we if, we if the mower, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be the one mowing the lawn with, like, oh, yes, old boy. You'd be like, ah, uh, uh, sir. Sir, uh, would you like me to do the lawn? I say, oh boy. Yes, go on. Mother oh, lawn yes. for me. A little bit more to the left, Codsworth. Very good, Codsworth. Oh, yes, a bit more to the right, sir. Uh, Absolutely. Thank excellent. you, my lord. Thank you, my lord. Uh, th this will help me. I I'll be able to feed my family tonight. Is, is, it, is, it, a th is it a threatening crown, sir? Payment. Threatening crown, please. Mow the lawn better, peasant, and you might get three shillings. Oh, my lord, yes. Yes, my lord, I, I shall more, I shall, I shall more to my, I shall more, as best as I can, my lord. Three shillings, I'll be able to get a whole sparrow for that. Oh, what a day. <laughs> Brits feel like mowing tax. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we used to tax windows. Wait, there was tax on window cleaning. No, no, window cleaning, like having a window. There was window like, tax. Yeah, like, in the Edwardian era, because, like, you know, the Edwardians spent so much stupid money on, like, their big wigs and everything. Yeah. Um, they were like, we need to figure out a way to make money. And one of them was like, right, we're going to charge you tax for every window you have. So, every time you, every time we spot a window, or I, I don't know if it was, like, the amount of windows or window size, but it was just like, yeah, you got windows, we're going to tax you. Yeah. So that's why sometimes when you go to like old Edwardian houses, the windows are bricked up. Because people yeah. are like, well, we're just going to get rid of his windows. Mm. We're Dave's... just going to brick up his windows. Dave says, my mum is watching. She has just fallen asleep. Now, now folks in champ, right? I don't know which is going to be better for you. But, um, like, you've got lawnmower simulator today. And you've got the rest of Halo tomorrow. So take your pick, friends. Take your pick. Music yeah, and facts. choose wisely. Like, come on, anyone can do Halo. Yeah. But, like, how many people can do Love Mom Simulator? Music I facts. I mean, look at, these cut, look at these cut lines. Like, come on. This grass. Whoa. It, it, will, look like a, it will look like the green of a golf course. I'm all going the to, way around. I'm going, to read, um, I'm going to read this music back from Space Ghost. 304 Holloway Road is around the London area where a man named John Meeks Recording Studio was. Ah, the guy you mentioned in chat the other night. Uh, Space Ghost says, what's next? Power Wash Simulator? Um, I mean, I don't... I, I, I'll have to double check whether that's the only player. Because I, I, I thought this was multiplayer. I thought we would be doing this together. I mean, to be because fair, I, right? I, no, no, please do first. I was just going to say, I've always just seen Power Wash Simulator as a bit of a fad and giggled at it. But apparently some people think Power Wash Simulator is actually really good for some bizarre reason. Well, again, it's a very similar reason to like why we're playing Lomo Simulator. 
you don't come for the. I mean, you do come for the content. Like, come on, who doesn't come for this? Um, <laughs> but you come, you come for the conversations. Ah, yes, conversations. I mean, we, me, and you definitely have that one covered. I don't think we need to worry. Luda. So I think what's causing the damage to the property? Oh, oh. Luda just walks onto a back of the tails wagon. Hey you. Oh bless. Hi. Hi. Hello you. Sleepy buffer. You're all affectionate, aren't we? There we go. Good girl. You get comfy. You can stay as long as you like. It's Friday. I'm maybe not we need you to maybe we need to add a side camera of just Luna. Luna cam. Luna cam, yeah. I mean, why, why Mo Space Ghost? Why Mo? I'm all for that one. Jacob says, I reckon I'm feeling a part two of War Mo Simulator, lads. Damn right. Yeah. Damn right. Like I said, crack open a Foster's, grab yourself a Wallaby. We'll get a few shrimp on the barbie. It'll be a good time. <laughs> I think this is in England, you know. I know, that was that was satire because Jacob's Australian. Oh is he? Yeah. How Australian? Uh I mean I don't know I don't know if he answers um or if he replies to every comment or question with the words to rue or bonza. But you know. Hey, to talking about um <laughs> Australians. Yeah. Um did you hear in the news about that wallaby that's uh, been like found in Devon? How the hell have we found a wallaby in Devon? How does a wallaby get from Australia to Devon? Oh, it didn't get... It, it's a native to England. Like, you know, it was born and raised in England. It's got a British passport and everything. No, basically, uh, wallabies are quite popular, sort of like, pets in, like, petting zoos and stuff. Um, like, not to be petted, but, like, for people to look at. Uh, but basically, they people don't realise how good they are at escaping. Um, so they reckon that this wallaby is like escaped to basically see its mother. Which is if it's true, it's had to go over two rivers, a motorway, and travel 20 miles. I think this lawnmower has got a bit of drift, you know. Oh yeah, look at these cut lines. So pristine. And anything we've missed we can finish off with the bushwhacker. Oh, oh Georgia. Georgia. Do do do. Always on my man. I mean, viewers, people are complaining, but there's still some people in chat, I'm saying. Oh, sorry, I must have muted my mic. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm here. So you just, yeah, people just heard me singing jo a very, very bad, bad rendition of Georgia. Oh, no, 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 no. Lu Lu sorry, I was muting because Luna keeps flipping and flopping and wants attention. Hello, Doc. Ah, as yeah. you do. As, as you, you do. do. She's flipping and flopping and grumbling and growling because she wants attention. She's like, arr, arr. this dog talks to you as well. She's like, arr, 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 arr. she talks to you. She really does. She's the most emotive dog I've ever known. Yeah, a st exactly a standard silver practice. A virgin wallaby. Dave says Forrest Gump is doing really good right now. Right, I better, I better fix that for you. Pause for a minute. Wait, we've got five minutes, we've got five minutes. We can finish the loan. We can finish the loan. You reckon?
I mean, how much do we need? We need 99.5% to get this contract complete. I, I, I respect and appreciate the fact that people are um, still in for this. Oh no, Luna isn't in chat. She's currently she's currently laid on the bed right now, napping. La laid across the bed, because God forbid that you actually want to have some space. No, Luna lays across the bed, so she's nice and comfy, and you don't get space. That's what she does. All right, so we got we got we got to find a full percent with the bushwhacker. Get whacking that bush. Get whacking the bush. Right, so first things first, let's get this full section there. Oh, that, that'll be Novi Space Ghost, that'll be Novi. I'm just sitting here with bated breath, hoping and praying this stream gets to like 50 views by the time we finish. If it does, then I'll be genuinely satisfied. Like, I, I know some streamers that can't even get to, like, 50 views playing a decent freaking game. If we can get to 50 views by the end of the night playing Lomo... Uh, are, are, are you suggesting Lomo isn't, like, one of the greatest games of all time? Uh... uh, yeah, oh, uh oh, um, uh, uh, descent, descent! <laughs> descent uh, in the ranks! Descent in the ranks! Do you want me to reset that for you? I don't know if you're going to get that in three minutes. Oh, well, that's the challenge. If the sun don't come, you get your tan from standing in the English rain. I'm sure plenty of people in this country have got a tan standing in the rain. It wouldn't surprise me. <clears throat> it wouldn't surprise me. Now Luna has woken up and is literally nibbling her coat. She's preening herself. Oh, bless her. Yeah. Yeah. She's got better hygiene than some Yu-Gi-Oh players. That wouldn't be hard. A freaking dumpster diving hobo probably has better hygiene than some Yu-Gi-Oh players. I love the fact that, like, that has to be a rule. In a in a official Yu-Gi-Oh tournament, it has to be a rule that if you stink too much, you can get lose points. You can literally get a warning. And if you get multiple hygiene warnings, it can count as a penalty on your score, yeah. Like, it, it was bad, you know, after the first couple of rounds, even just like volunteering on the staff, right? After the first couple of rounds, there was just this musky smell and it was bloody awful. Like, how come you guys can do 20 card, 20 card freaking, you know... 20 chain combos with like a deck of 40 cards yet you can't apply soap and water to armpits. How? Yeah, oh people will have a sh who say they've had a shower, but then be like, are you wearing antiperspirant? No. Well that's a part of the issue. And then you'll go, okay, have you, when was the last time you like, you washed your clothes? You oh know, no, no, no. If... Jacob, Jacob, it's true. It's actually written into the official Yu-Gi-Oh rules, you can get a warning for poor hygiene. You can actually get a verbal warning from the judge, which is written on your score sheet for poor hygiene. Oh, I heard a dog, like Wimper, was that Luna? No, she's napping again. Luna? Nah, she's chill. Are we going, Miss Miss? Are we going down? She's looking at me. Hey. Nah, she, she doesn't want to go. She'd be telling me if she wanted to go. She, start, she starts kind of, like, putting her head on my arm and trying to nuzzle me and, like, gesturing towards the door. When, um, ah. she wants to leave. Chef, right. plays end. It's your turn. I, I'll, let you ba I'll let you back in. I know, I want to eat, eat my pasta. You can find, you can find a little bit of scent while I'm eating my pasta. 
Okay. I summon deodorant stick it I summon deodorant in attack mode. And it will be attack mode as well because deodorant's bloody oppressive to some of you Yeo players. They burn, it's like kryptonite. <laughs> I mean it's got your standard GTA control scheme. So we should be alright. Hmm. You're gonna have to uh, freaking Oh wait, it actually shows you, Jonathan. Um, I can't see the chat because uh, uh, share plays on. But what 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 did it show me? Sorry. If you hold in the right stick, see. I'm looking at a stream with the delay. Oh, I can see it. You press it in and hold it. There. So it's like the it's like the eagle vision. Yeah. Um, Luna will de-glove you if you keep annoying her. Nah, she's a sweetheart. De-glove. Mowing simulator <laughs> EPA edition. A herd of sheep. My god, this is so precise. Um, well, the thing is with the bushwhacker, you have to look directly down at it. Because it affects your angle, how high you've got it. I'm just going to go around all the edges. <laughs> okay, there's something oddly therapeutic about this as I'm playing, I'm not all lie. Mm. Like, I'm concerned by how therapeutic it is. Almost got Are it! Well, you're, uh, 94, 94! I'm just going around all the edges. The thing is as well, there's people out there that watch your content in different time zones. Yeah. So it be, it's a good way to relax before you go to bed. It's like it's all relax. well and good. It's all well and good like they in the intense like content of like GTA five that we still need to finish. We do um, we do, we actually do, right. you're not wrong. We need to finish GTA five before you start your up team playthrough of GTA or the other editions. Although, I mean, the next the next time you do to play GTA, you are due to play the, the the true version. That's true. I, I, caught, I caught the end of the stream, I'm not going to lie. Officer Tenpenny, when he dies in the street, in the definitive edition, is like an eldric horror. Oh, it's it the way like his seen... face contorts. Yeah. It's probably because he saw himself in the reflection of the blowing window of the fire engine and just dies of just shock. Well, I have to finish the past him when, when you are. Although, you may want the honour of like, ending off this contract. Oh god. Oh god! I mean, Dave. Dave, the mad lad that he is. Oh, sorry, wrong person, not Dave. Uh, Jacob, the mad lad that he is, has been asking for a part two of this, so we may have to give the man a part two. Yeah. Of course. People want the content. That's what I come for. Also, by the way, this, do you know? Right, this is this is a, this is going to be a bit of a controversial topic. But when someone says the word to you, woke, if they say, "Oh, that's woke," what does it? I, I don't. I I've lost. I feel like I've lost meaning for what that word means. Done. 
basically, they're implying it's just something that's that's filled with some kind of like ideology. Essentially, that's what they're implying. So it's an insult, in it. When they say something's work, it's it's always an insult. Yeah, it's basically it's basically filled with some kind of. They're implying it's filled with some some kind of messaging or like thing that they don't agree with. That's what they're arguing. Right. Anyway, you're going to get control back now that I've finished mowing. And uh, Jacob says, "Well, it's early here, so chill is good." Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> it's like nine o'clock at night here. I reckon we've got mo another hour of lawn mowing in us. Yeah, of course. We can't have we we can we can't have you burning yourselves out on all the top tier content like every day, chat. We can't have Halo, GTA, and Resident Evil every day. By the way, there may be a playthrough of Classic Resident Evil 2 soon, guys. <clears throat> Sorry, I got an air bubble stuck in my throat. I reckon we have a couple more lawns in us, lads. Yeah. There we go. You've parked. Less penalties that time as well. Look at him go. Would you rather rip off all your fingers or rip out w one of your eyes? Um, well, I think I'd rather have to. I'd have to rip out an eye because I wouldn't like with no fingers. I wouldn't be able to do anything. Well, the problem well, is. Well, the penalties. We only got we got two penalties. We got flower destruction. Penalties of two two dollars. Oh dear, not flower destruction. Does the sun set in this game? I would love to see some. Could you imagine midnight lawn mowing? You knock back a couple of stellar artois and just go for it on the lawn mower. Oh, uh, we've gone up ranks. We've gone up the ranks. Oh! Welcome to your company's HQ. Here you can edit your avatar and your company ID, as well as take out advanced achievements to gain more RP. Respect points towards your ranking, your company contract ranking and progress bar to the next rank can be seen at the top right corner screen. Currently, your HQ only has one vehicle bay, but once you earn enough money, you can upgrade it to have a second vehicle bay and purchase a bigger HQ with multiple extra vehicle bays. Once you have a second vehicle, you can start to hire another employee to your company extra contracts and earn even more money and RP. Can yeah! You,
Yes, yes indeed, Frankenstein. But now, big, big thank you to everybody who's watching this top tier content. Could I ask you to slam the like button if you haven't already? If we actually yeah. manage to get Lawnmower Simulator to 10 likes by the end of this stream, I will be... I will be a happy lad, put it that way. I reckon I've got more. I've oh! We're back at this house! But only, rather doing that, we're doing this side. They brought you back in for more mowing action. Yeah, because I'm so good, yeah? Oh, look at, look at that tractor. This game is a masterpiece in front of Superman 64. I think many games would be. Are you... These people don't appreciate, like, what we are delivering them here. I know. We are delivering them the future of content. The future of content. There we go. Remember, you either hold the right or left stick in to, to check what still needs to be done. Here we go. Like, I will give credit, right? The sheer amount of detail that's gone into this is genuinely impressive. Right. Slow down. Want it? Cut in height. Oh, seven to eight centimeters. Let's. Adjust the cutting height. Oh, it's already at max height. Okay. Does that mean you're okay then? Yeah. You're overloading your engine. Slow down or... Have you ever wondered why CJ is wearing bell-bottom jeans in 1992, while um, um, baggy skinny jeans were in fashion? I have no idea. I could not answer that question, to be honest. Mow that lawn, good sir. Mow it. Mow it viciously. It's proper struggling with this, isn't it? Because the grass is so long. You're just gonna have to go really, like, agonizingly slowly, aren't you? Potentially, yeah. What does it say? I mean, well, I mean it, it's still 99.50, but we'll get it done. What does it say we'll there? It. Slow down or increase your what, sorry? Increase your cutting height. Because I'm cutting at, I'm cutting at 7, rather than cutting at the recommended height of 8. It's a logical error, Mr. Silver. Devs didn't do much research. Okay, I've got you. You're just gonna have to so go. So in order to get that stuff up, you have to stand still to get it. Right. So you can't just cheat and do it while moving. This is gonna be a really but... slow cutting of this lawn, isn't it? Not ne no, not really, because this section here is not like. Because it's like it meant to be a section where a horse has, like, lived. A horse has lived? Well, yeah, it's horse stable. Okay, alright. Oh, I presume the horse is still living. Well, I would hope so. I don't think Aldi's found it for lasagna yet. <laughs> hey, did you hear about um, what they did to cover up the um, taste of horse? When they when that scandal happened, uh, no, they were using a mascarpone cheese. They're using a mascarpone cheese, like sort of flavouring to cover up the taste of horse. Yeah. Ah. Bit of cheeky cheval burger. You don't get it, don't you? 
No, I'm kind of lost. Well, okay. What what what's a what's a small horse called? Uh, is it is it a cheval? A I cheval. I don't know. A cheval what, sounds like a car. What is a small horse? There's a TV show. There's a TV show all about them. Oh, ponies. Yes. That's it. A joke again. Give me a sec. I've just got my eyes caught chat. I remember your DMC2 live stream. That game was horrific. What lawnmower simulator is more fun than that? Oh, you you were here all the way back on the freaking DO D, oh, sorry DOA DMC2 stream like years ago. Damn, like literally damn. That DMC stream was like years ago. You've been watching ever since Frankenstein. That's legit cool. God, that lawnmower is struggling. Well, it might be the type of cut it's doing as well, because it's turning the grass into mulch. So, I mean, if it was side, if it was one of the other lawnmowers that was just doing a straight cut, it would probably suck it up easy. Got ya. I was silently watching. That's fair. That's all cool. Nice to have you back, anyway. Oh, Luna's decided she wants to leave. You've got the stream for a couple of minutes while I let her down, okay? Yeah. Bye, Luna. We're going down, Loons. We're going down, Pup. Right, give me five minutes. I'm going to, um... You just you just chat with the chat for a couple of minutes, okay? Oh. I'm going to go let the dog down, then take a quick toilet break and grab some water. I'll be here, like, five minutes tops. Don't go anywhere, chat. I mean, I'll do my best to keep an eye on, on the chat. There you go. Move my phone. Oh, he stretches! <gasps> He's got a stretch animation! Go on, give us a stretch. Well, that sucks. Oh, man, just old. There's a, a throttle adjuster, and yet it doesn't allow me to, like, adjust the throttle to the speed of one. It's just, like, full on or nothing. Rejoin, for I have returned. Wait, this silver retire. How many years has it been, Mr. Jonathan? He's just gone to let Lulu, Lulu out for, like, you know, to do what Luna does. Oh, I'm at half full. I forgot to fill my tank up. I got this long one. It's hover blower. Oh, 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 two, 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 okay, okay, okay. Okay, Jesus. Jeez, how long is this grass?
lot of this is going to have to get done with the bushwhacker. I there's no way I'm just going to like go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Although I will loop around this a few times to get like a good area of clearance. There we go, that looks, oh, looks so nice, so nice. Oh yes. Oh, that's life. And you can't deny it. I'm cutting grass. Better than anyone else, oh yeah. Oh, look at that, look how clean that cut was, under the tree, and I'm, it's still, still clean. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie, this one... It's probably gonna take. It's, it's, it's a smaller area than the other ones, but I'm um, just curious, Jonathan, if James had the alternative Jimmy, John had Johnny's, Josh had Joe's, I think, Jumanji had Jeremy's, and Thomas had Toby's, what does Jonathan have? Well, Jonathan has nothing because he wasn't mentioned in the... In the in the statement. You hear me? Yeah, sorry. This is a tongue twister in the bottom. Oh, uh, not a tongue. It's a tongue twister and a riddle. Silver, you'll read it. See if see if it makes more sense. Yeah, you got it. Frankenstein's just left it. Sorry, dog. Um, when Luna gets bored, she just decides, yep, yeah, time to go, and she hops down off the bed and freaking goes to the door and is like, yep, time to go, let me out, please. Right. Just curious, Jonathan, if James has the alternative Jimmy, sorry, if James has the alternative Jimmy, John has Johnny, Joseph has Joe, I think, Jemiah has Jeremy and Thomas has Tommy, what does Jonathan have? I mean, does Jonathan have any alternative? Probably not, and it seems like a matter of perspective. Oh, as it, so it's not a riddle. I generally thought it. I generally thought it was a riddle. Uh, yeah. So yeah, the alternative to John is uh, those for John. Um, John, John A. John. Uh, there's also the French variation. There's Jean. Uh, there's the Scottish spelling of the word Jonathan, which is Jonathan, jo John, John Nathan. I didn't, even, no... I didn't even realise there was a Scottish alternative. Yeah, basically it doesn't have the first A. So mine's J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N. But the Scottish one is J-O-N-T-H-A-N. So it's John Tan. Not John Athan. It's John Tan. Okay. Got you. Leo and it's exclusive Montfair. to Scottish Scotland. Okay. Not many people not many people know that. Because a lot of people will see it on a document and think you've mis and and think you've misspelt it and then correct it but not tell you they've changed it. 
Like he's got legal documents out there. Uh, so I've got a, I've got a mate where it's spelt the Scottish way. Uh, he's the got Scottish documents way. where, yeah, he's got documents where he's had to like basically write in and say why have you spelt my name wrong, and they he's had to argue the point. They've gone no. Like I'm pretty sure the person knows how to spell their own name. Well, it'd be quite silly if you did. Also, uh. talk about names. Oh, I can't, like, I, I get it, parents want to, like, be quirky and, like, oh, look how unique my little diamond is. But if you name your child a name, but spell it like an absolute moron, then, I'm sorry, like, no. Yeah. Like, you just, you just, you're just bad. Like, I, I'm sorry, but, like, I once heard a story where someone wants to name their child Rachel. No, no, they wanted to name their child Rifle, but it wasn't spelt like a rifle. I don't even know what the spelling was, but it wasn't spelt Rifle, it was like Rifle. Or re Rifle, I think it was spelt. If you was to read it, I could like read it like without, you know, looking, um, somebody you know, like, look, look at the pronunciation. Somebody has just put a full cup. A full cooked lobster on a foot. Oh no, what? Is that a turkey with lobster claws and a lobster head? Why is this in the Discord? No, this, is this is like something that just popped into my Twitter feed for some bizarre reason. It's like a Photoshop or someone, something someone's made. I don't know. I, I don't. I think it's a Photoshop. Either way, it's just been it's been recommended by Twitter, and Twitter just recommends garbage half the time. Like for some well, bizarre reason, they've also just recommended me a gif of a of a lass with pigtails getting a stack of hot dogs thrown at her face. Okay. Yeah, like Elon Musk hasn't been doing great since he bought Twitter, has he? Uh. Even as somebody who has paid blue. Hmm. That's all I'll say. Very deep. Yeah, like... Like, the guy, at one stage, was, like, was worth $200 billion. Yeah. And now, like, look at, like, you know, how much he's worth. He just got some ideas that, like, make sense on paper, uh, but they don't work because of, like, human the human condition and then he's just got some other ideas like he doesn't like unions like like why can't why do you not like unions like well, well as a card carrying member of the labor party i'm um, i'm quite pro union as it so happens uh, but then again i think it's a fact though i that. think it's a very american idea unions are, are, are always seen or quite often still seen as very communist in their origins, and communism is seen as the enemy of America. Not, Amer not, not like an enemy I mean, of I mean, like that, democracy, that's a very broad... but like the enemy. Hmm. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm doing broad strokes here. Like, was that the like, intention, I'm, man? Yeah, the intent. Like, I'm, I'm stating here that I'm doing broad strokes. Okay. But I'm saying, like, Mr. you know, Mr. Like, Broadhead I'm, doing broad strokes. Go on, dude. Yes, indeed. Like, to get into the nitty gritties of it, like, you know, you'd have to go through it state by state. And, like, I do not have the understanding of the American system to be able to go through it state by state. But what but, I am stating is there is people out there but, that, but, that you know, live right? in the country that associate um, so, unions with communism and therefore associate them as the enemy. My understanding of this, right, and this is very much a... A Brit applying British logic to another country's situation, right? It's yeah, I get broad strokes. Okay. Right. So, there's an innate... Hey, what was it, Silver? Yeah. Look at the, look at the percentage. <laughs> 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 it's funny because... Penis. Correct. Yeah. Um, so... 
this naturally because America was embroiled in a very, very long war with the Union of Communist States. There's an innate fear from a, a denomination of the American public of anything remotely, you know, linked to communism, and I can, I can totally get the perspective, right? I can get the yeah, yeah. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying the foolish the or anything for believing pro- what they believe. The problem is, in my opinion, that some people don't differentiate with a huge amount of nuance from what I've seen. Like, again, it's a broad brush argument with some people. Like, anything remotely like because think about it right in this country we have we have some very core socialist elements in some very core parts of our country like for example yeah. nationalization ownership of the rail public ownership of the rail ownership of them own own it all to a point before they started part privatizing it um part, you know public ownership of the mail public ownership of rail um at one stage, public ownership of utilities, and our biggest, you know, like, thing that was arguably the biggest showing of, of working socialist elements in a, in a modern Western society, the NHS, free universal healthcare at point of use. So this country has actually shown, the UK has actually shown, that you can have some socialist elements embedded into your society that really genuinely work or at the very least are functional and do benefit an amount of the population but I feel like that some people stateside again this is just a this is just a viewpoint and I could be incorrect here but you know they see anything even remotely socialist elements in any aspect of their society of oh that's not, you know, something that could help. That's just blatantly. They see, they see communism. They see any form of socialism as innately communism, and are just like, no, we don't want any of that. Whereas the potential benefits, or looking at anything that may work, or anything like healthcare, for example, there are so many Americans that really do want some form of, if not totally free, genuinely affordable or low-cost healthcare. But Suki, Suki just made a very valid point, right? As an American, she says, our system is too set in its ways. Yeah. There are a lot of people who are very set in their ways, and they just see... There's, like I said, the, the differentiation is not there. Hardest, hardest bars in 2024. Ownership of the rail. Uh, ownership of the rail. Uh, exactly. Look, like Suki just said there, she says our government won't fluffing budge. Would love to see free healthcare. System is too set in its ways. It won't work. Like, this is the point, right? So many Western European societies have shown that you can integrate elements of social uh, elements of social good and light socialism into in, into your some of your countries you know core facets life healthcare education social care welfare but there just seems to be that very black or white response from at least a denomination you know yeah there's like that barrier because Just... I, because the thing is like I always imagine it as this like if I came to you right. I was like I was like Silver I want you to give me some of your money and in return I will provide you with this service that you may or may not use Straight away, 90% of people are going to go, well, no. Why would I give you, why would I have to give you my money? Or give you something for something that I may not even need. And I think it's, it's breaking down that initial barrier of like, you may need this. 
Yeah. So I would like you to give me a small percentage of something in exchange for this. It's almost like, I, I know the way I could think about it is like, silver, let's say everyone in the country grows their own flour or grows their own wheat. Right. And I go to the people, give, give me 5% of your wheat and I will grow bread. I'll, I'll make bread. And if you ever need bread, I know you make your own, but if you ever need bread, come to me and I'll give you a set amount of bread. You may not need that service, but if you need it, it's there. It's that initial barrier of going, well, why would I have to give you 5% of the wheat that I grow for a service that I may not need? I make my own bread. So I may never, ever require the use of your bakery that you're making for people. So I'm not going to give you my wheat. And that, that's, the, that's the barrier you've got to break down. You've got to convince people that, in fact, do you know what? I'm going to give you my wheat because I might need it yeah. in the future. I might need that bread in the future. And that's the difficulty you have. So that's the difficulty that I feel that you have with these arguments. You mean that that resistance, like just like a hard resistance to any sort of, you know, wanting to give any, any of their resources up for others, or be, as Suki just said, that resistance to any form of change from a well as from a well entrenched long term system. Yeah. And the thing different. is, the system's not bad. Not at all. Like every system's flawed. Like, am I gonna stand stand here and say England has got the best system in the world? No. I mean let let's I mean be all honest. you have to do is look at the I mean, no, we've talked no. about the NA press. And the seen NHS, like yeah. It, yeah, and seen it on its knees. But the thing is, I think a lot of times it's very difficult to get people to view a system and see the flaws that the system has. Yeah. Because they're like, well, it's my system, I grew up with it, it's mine, it's perfect. Oh, yeah, 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 I get Almost that. Almost like a mother with their child, like, my baby's perfect, and you're my, not yeah. going to change it. My, my little Johnny would never do that, you know. Yeah, I follow. I, I do totally see your point, like... Legitimately, I do. It is it is not lost to me in the slightest. But uh, you know, I will be one of the first person, or fir first person, first people on the uh, on the front line, as it were, advocating for free healthcare. Like legitimately, like with you know, I've been quite frank and upfront with um some people in the chat and you know my my lifelong muscular condition and that kind of thing and I'll I'll be completely honest I I owe my ability to still be able to walk to free healthcare it, I, if not and all the countless amounts of surgeries that I have had for my muscular condition and just all the freaking general wear and tear and the corrective surgery and that kind of thing. Like, if I hadn't have had a lot of that surgery, which a lot of it was trial surgery when I was young, to be honest, like, they... It's a form of tendon lengthening, right? A form of tendon lengthening that they do. For people who have got very, very tight muscles that are prone to twisting, tearing, spraining, you name it. It's, I think it's called tendon slip surgery. It's, it's some form of um, slip surgery. It's basically tendon lengthening and a lot of surgical manipulation of the muscles. And if it wasn't for that surgery... I mean, put it this way, right? My... My, my specialist was always very blunt with me when I was a kid. And he basically said to me when I was like, you know, a freaking, when I was yeah. young, he basically said to me, well, if, if there's every chance if you don't have this surgery that you may not be able to walk by the time you are about 19 years old. Like, your muscles will just be so seized up and so tightened and so
so pulled and torn and damaged, essentially. Leg muscles. That you wouldn't be able to walk anymore. I mean, it was my parents' choice. They, they gave me the operations when I was a kid. And those operations, despite them being trial surgeries, a very small batch of young children who were basically put forward for very pioneering trial surgeries, it saved my ability to walk. Like, it, it genuinely did. For real. Yeah. So, I'll, but anyway, we digressed hard there. But the no, no, but it, it gets me like, I, I, I like, you know me, I like Reddit. Like, yeah. that is where, like, that is where I spend most of my time, or spare time, mm. is on Reddit. And I read one story where, basically, this person was talking, and they basically said, Oh, by the way, uh, am I the asshole for basically saying to my family, I don't want to pay rent, or I, I want a reduction in rent for all the extra jobs I'm doing around the house? And the story basically came about that this girl, her sister, had developed diabetes. Right. Like, type, type, type. She had had an accident or something and she developed, like, type 2 diabetes. Both her parents had to get second jobs just to pay for the insulin. Oh, wow. And that's what started, that's what started the entire thing. Like, insulin, like, honestly, oh, you hear prices of insulin and it... Honestly, it, it breaks my heart. Yeah, yeah. The things that people need to live. But, like, the point is, like, just like you said about the price, the cost of insulin that people need to live. And, you know, all the surgeries that I had, that basically, despite being very, very technical, complex surgeries that are not comfortable, put it that way, they're very, they can be very painful and the recovery can be quite long. You know, if it wasn't for those surgeries, I'd have probably lost my ability to walk completely by the time I would have been in my late teens to early twenties. So I'll be the first, like, don't get me wrong, even now, you know, like, I still get a lot of muscular pain, a lot of muscular tightness, a lot of twists, pulls, sprains, micro tears, that kind of thing. A lot of very uncomfortable wear and tear, but the point is, I can still get around a little bit. And that little bit is mine. And I owe that to all of the surgeries I had over the years from being, oh god, like, I think the first surgery I had for my muscular condition was probably like 11 or 12, and the last one I had was probably, let me do a rewind, let me do a rewind, thank you for that, yeah I think the very last one I had had have probably been about maybe 23 I want to say, 23? I'm, um, it's either 23 or 24. So, you know, basically, and I'm long overdue for one now. I've needed Yeah, I know, you remember what saying. I'm, I'm, I, I, like, I'm long overdue for one now. I probably, if I'm being completely honest with you, like, the, the whole having to stay in, and shielding with COVID thing, that did not do me any favors. Like, the being stuck indoors for so long basically just seized up my muscles and has taken me a very long time to to kind of... <laughs> I mean, I, I won't beat around the bush. Three years been stuck indoors nearly robbed me of my legs in and of itself. It was yeah. not good. It was not good. I mean, on the upside, I had the YouTube channel, but on the downside, it's taken me, it's taken me, what, like, over a year now, a year and a half to get a bit of movement back, and a bit, no, a bit of, a bit of, should we say, a bit of pain-free movement back, in a matter yeah, of like, speaking. Yeah, like, yeah, it doesn't sound fun. Anyway, I've, I've digressed really hard. Point is... No, 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 this is, this oh, is what it's about, though. This is oh, what, this is, you know, this is the kind of content... Oh that I was hoping to get oh with my the quality. lawnmower. Yeah, oh my quality of life and all that kind of stuff to free healthcare. 
would advocate for free healthcare and really think that a lot of people with complex health conditions could seriously benefit from it who don't have yeah. it. So let me just quickly read what's been said in chat after that digression. By the way, Silver, how is Luna today? She was literally in my room until about, what, 15, 20 minutes ago when I came back? And she just decided, oh yeah, after she'd been sat in my room for like the first hour, hour and sort of 20 minutes of stream, Leo, Mon, and just hopped off the bed recently and decided, want to go down now? So I uh, let her down. And um, Dave says, you're not doing any marathons, better stick... Um, Better stick to the 10k, Jesus Christ. And uh, Frankenstein says, have you guys ever played King of Fighters? I've watched Suki play a little bit, but I haven't played it. What is the name of that surgery? I'm going to Google search it now, because I can't remember the specific name. Um oh.
doctor away, but that's probably factually incorrect. <sighs> so apparently this is going to be a lot more difficult. Because it's wet. Last lawn of the night, guys and gals. Yeah. It's a lawn mowing bonanza. I'm genuinely stunned that this stream has got like over 40. Has has managed to get 40 views and like 10 likes. I'll read. I'll 40 redo views. That. Oh come on, we need at 50. 40 whole views. I'm hoping to get 50 by the end of the night. Come on, guys. Dig deep. I'm gonna reset that for you anyway, it's almost run out. Yeah, we say now. Let me show this reason to come back in a bit. But yeah, I mean the um our Halo stream the other night got 103. Then again, to be fair, some of our streams have had some real good viewership recently. Resetting now, hold on, you'll lose control. Then did it da 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 Oh, by the way, folks in chat, since I finally got it set up, after going through the long and painful process that was extracting BIOS files from old PlayStation consoles, I have finally got it set up so we can, um stream some PS1 and PS2 games on the channel. And we're going to be doing some classic Resident Evil 2, like PS1 Resident Evil 2, and maybe even, maybe even, but no promises yet because it'll be a large time commitment, some Digimon World. And maybe some Resident Evil Outbreak. Maybe. Don't hold me to that yet. Chop that like buttons. <laughs> Chop that like button with a weed whacker. Oh god. Also, if you guys haven't seen the new Tekken video covering the excessive um, monetization in. Um, or the, 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 the next layer of excessive monetization in the new Tekken game. Link is here for you in chat. Give that a watch. What? Give it a like. Why? What's, that? What's happening? So do you know how Tekken 8 had a... It was a $70 game with a $90 freaking deluxe edition and then a $110 premium deluxe edition. Uh, no, I did not know that. So... Well, yeah. It then got it then got a thirty it's either thirty or forty dollar season pass at launch. A Tekken shop with microtransaction currency that you pay real money for in order to buy legacy costumes that they've taken out of the game and put back in at a premium. And now the seventy dollar game with all of that monetization that I've just mentioned has received a Fortnite slash Fall Guys esque battle pass that you have to buy the premium tier to be able to get extra stuff. So they basically monetized it to excess. That sounds ridiculous, that. Yeah. Did a, did a video covering it. So after you spent £110 on the game, they want you to spend more money on the game. So yeah, 70, um, 70 dollar freaking base price, 30 dollar season pass, um, premium currency shop with microtransactions that you have to use real money to buy legacy costumes that they've taken out the game and put back in, and then an at present undisclosed premium pass that you, 
that you then have to buy to get additional extras that they've locked behind the pass. Despite all of your stuff supposedly coming right, why do you need a premium battle pass if all of the stuff's meant to come in the season pass? See what I mean? Yeah. The thing is though, it's not as egregious as like some other games I heard. Uh, I can't. I can't remember which game it was, but I mean, it was if, a game. If you've heard anything more you... egregious than that, then Jesus, because this is egregious he... enough. But go on. Um, so it was a game where, in order to get the true ending of the game, you had to buy it a DLC. Oh, that was a that was Azura's Wrath. That was Capcom. They literally yeah. locked the true ending of the game behind DLC. Yeah, I know about that. But yeah, like. The microtransaction shop, um, shop, when they added that last month, divided the Tekken community a, a fair amount, you know. Not massively, but there was definitely some division there. The Battle Pass has severely divided the whole community. Like, it split viciously down the middle from what I've seen. It is. What, some it, people like the Battle Pass? Some people are actually defending it, yeah. But... Yeah, no. I get the, the thing is, yeah, no. I, I get one of the main difficulties of a game is that how much it costs to make a game now. Like making a game is a lot, is a lot of money. But <sighs> surely there's, there's got to be different ways to so do it. So you, right, I mean, upwards of a hundred dollar freaking price for the game. Then a $30 season pass, then a premium monetization shop, and then an additional battle pass, of which you give them more things that aren't included in the game's season pass. That's four layers of monetization on top of a game that you've already paid $70 to $100 for. There's, you know, yeah. I, I get that there's, an ex there's a lot of expense to making a game, but there reaches a point where it becomes a blatant greed and it looks really excessive. And I genuinely think with Tekken, they, um, they've finally reached the point now where they have just supremely annoyed a large amount of the fan base, and there's no taking it back. Yeah, it's sad to see. Yeah. And, like, this this anger that I particularly feel towards, it comes from the fact that I've been a, a fan of the Tekken series for more than 15 years, and it's one of my favourite fighting game series outside of DOA. Oh, by the way, which we will be bringing, ironically, some DOA 5 to the channel shortly. Because the Infinite Ammo Syndicate are going to be having a, a Dead or Alive 5 tournament night over there. And I'm going to enter and take my Hitomi into the, um, into the mix. So we're definitely going to have a bit of DOA in the next week. Is um, Dead or Alive, is that the one where you can have the, um, the T-Rex? No, that's uh, Tekken. Oh no, no, that's Killer Instinct. Oh, Killer Instinct. Um, yeah. So, which, what's Dead or Alive? Which, what kind of creatures do you have in Dead or Alive? There's one with the red head, Ninja Girl. Okay, that narrows it down. <laughs> that narrows it down. Um, I'll send you a link to one of the videos on my channel, so you know the one I mean. Is Dead or Alive the one that had um, Yoda as a playable character on stage? That's Soul Calibur. That is Soul Calibur, my friend. <clears throat> yeah, that was funny. They introduced Yoda, Darth Vader, and then Starkiller. Yeah. See, do you know what the ironic thing is, right, when it comes to these monetization videos as well? Yeah. The first two I did had really, and I mean really, polarizing responses in terms of the comment section and the like to dislike ratio but I'm gonna be honest right the battle pass video has had an overwhelmingly negative or had an overwhelmingly negative response towards the um, the microtransactions implementations and, a, and an almost unanimously positive like counter like, tons of people have liked it. 
so I do genuinely think that they have really ruffled feathers here. I mean, I mean, it's difficult, isn't it? Like, like the thing is, I'm not uh, like I understand. Like, they're a mi multi-million pound corporation, possibly billions, probably not, but millions. Uh, but I mean, at the end of the day, they've still got bills to pay and all this stuff, and you know, they have the same wants and needs and things to do as like you know me and Fred, Dick and Harry and all that stuff. But taking your like your customer base and like this it feels very disrespectful. Yeah, keep in mind, right? They they brought none of this out in the game's release. They brought it out in stages, post review, every you know, like they've they've put it all out deliberately. After the review cycle, so there's no negative press. And they've literally drip fed all these layers of monetization into the game month after month. Yeah, but yeah, that's not new. I mean, blooming um, Call of Duty did that with Call of Duty uh, World War Two. Yeah. Like they they did that. They deliberately hid. They didn't like not put it in. They hid the monetization aspects of like my, my, uh, microtransactions until after because release it, it, yeah because it even specifically said people who reviewed it was like we're so glad to see no microtransactions and literally on release day they did a 60 gigabyte you heard me right 60 gigabyte day one patch to say oh yeah yeah we just we just want to remove all these mistakes all it all it did was to change the game fundamentally and to implement. the microtransactions and yeah i mean that's what tekken did right they left it for the first month after release then they stuck the premium cash shop in and dragged the developers out to sit there and very awkwardly and uncomfortably justify it then they waited for the backlash to calm down another four weeks since then and they've now gone and stuck the battle pass in and again dragged one of the poor, very uncomfortable looking developers out who looks very unhappy while doing it to justify it again. And this time the backlash was has been quite ferocious. Like even Yellow Motion, who covered this, has actually made reference to the fact that this time around the fan base's response to this has been very fierce and very polarized. Which doesn't bother me because I just install. I like completely uninstalled the game the moment they put the premium cash shop in, and haven't played it since. So it won't bother me. I mean, me which version? Is, how much did you pay for yours? If you don't mind asking. I bought the seventy pound launch edition. I didn't. I bought the basic launch edition, which I don't even think because I got it off Amazon and it was a bit cheaper. I don't buy my games digitally. Buying them physically is actually cheaper these days. Let me go on um, Amazon and I'll be able to tell you. I bought Tekken at launch for... I'm gonna have to scroll. Give me a sec. You buy a lot from Amazon, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I buy quite a lot from Amazon. Give me a sec. That's February. That's January. We're getting near. We're getting near. Right, that's two. Yep. So I got mine, the launch edition, for um, for fifty four ninety five from Amazon, about ten pounds cheaper than the RRP. So, 55 quid, essentially. So, yeah. Hmm. And the problem is, that they're, they're stuck in a catch-21 now, because they've already got people really unhappy about the monetization. So, if they double down and pile it on even more, the response is just going to get so fierce that they're really just going to sour the community's response. Like... A catch-21? Well, how's that, how's that very from a catch-22? Fair point. Fair point. No, no, I'm just asking. I'm generally asking, how does it vary from a catch twenty two? I don't know what a catch twenty two is, so I couldn't tell you. Well, a catch twenty two is like you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. 
kind well, of thing. At this point, they are damned if they do and damned if they don't because. Well, what, they... what does Cat Twenty One mean? I. It's just a turn of speech. I've never really quite known the meaning. You can't be saying a turn of speech and not know what it means, Silver. You could be saying anything. You could be saying like a slur. Oh God, give me a second. I'll Google search it. Catch. To oh, sorry. What does Catch-21 mean? Similar to Catch-22, it is used for a rare occasion when you run into a Catch-22 because you are in fact... you in fact are not 21. Oh, I think it... I think, to be fair, a Catch-21 is identically the um, the same situation. It's it's the, it's the exact same turn of phrase according to Google as a catch twenty two. A catch twenty two usually means a situation where someone is stuck between a rock and a hard place, or between something very bad and something else very bad. And I mean they are stuck in a catch twenty two here, because if they double down on the monetization now, with the with the fan base so angry and so divided. They'll just burn bridges, sour the fan base, and damage the game even more. And if they now panic because of the fan response to the monetization and lighten it, people will then say, well, why did you implement it in the first place? It clearly didn't need to be implemented. So, they're stuck. They're stuck. And it's, um, it's a bad situation to be in. Like, genuinely a bad situation to be in. Yeah, it's not great. Now, how much more lawn have we got? Um, just a bit a section at this front, but I'm going to do it with the Wii Racket just because it's quite awkward to hit with the. I hope you guys have enjoyed this riveting top tier content, by the way. <clears throat> I know, I know Johnny Boy definitely has. Oh yeah, like it's been great, like, honestly. I sent you a few messages in Discord, Silver. A small documentary of um, Joe Meek along with the Riot Squad song. I'll have a looky. Probably in the morning once I've had some sleep, my dude. But I will have a looky. Don't you worry. Five more views to get to 50. Let's go. Come on, yes. Come on, we're nearly there. Five more views and we've got to my goal of 50 views for the stream. I'm hoping for a couple more here. Let's go. Yeah. Right, <clears throat> nah, because it's the front of the house, I'm going to 100% the front. The, wait, we've got random pedestrians walking up and down. It's your uh... Yeah. Damn, girl! Oh! <laughs> oh, Lord. I wouldn't think yeah. it's weird at all, Space Ghost. You've just got an enthusiasm towards British music, and there's nothing wrong with that. Thanks for sending that along anyway, dude. I'll have a look tomorrow. They're absolutely microscopic. <laughs> Is there anything? Is there anything else small you could do? Just say do a bit more litter picking or something. Because I've got oddly engrossed in this now, right in the eleventh uh, hour. Well, we'll see what spawns. Okay. Because it's obviously it's obviously spawning like three jobs at a time. Yeah. Is it weird that I've just got oddly engrossed in the last kind of half an hour? I'm like, how have I started to oddly enjoy just watching you do this? Well, that's the <laughs> thing. That's what that's what that's what Lawnmower Simulator does. It. it 
it sucks you in. Space Ghost has sent you some music as well, Johnny Boy. Yeah, I see it. Oh, by the uh, way, I've got, I got a fine collection of music to listen to. I, I can't make any guarantees because I've been a bit fatigued with Yu-Gi-Oh, as you probably heard earlier when Alex popped into chat. But will you be in shop all tomorrow? Or are you... Um, I was going to go to the shop tomorrow, uh, but my cousin's asked me to dog sit his dog, so I'm going to be dog sitting all day. Ah, not a problem, because I've been... I am so fatigued with, not like old school Yu-Gi-Oh at the minute, like Edison format 2010 Yu-Gi-Oh, but I'm so fatigued with modern Yu-Gi-Oh at the minute, and it's just like... Ugh, I don't know. Do I want to get on a train and go all the way to the, you know, freaking 30 plus minute fucking train ride just just to go and play Yu-Gi-Oh when I'm feeling fatigued? Well, no. Eh. It depends how I feel in the morning. It really does. Ugh. We will see. Nicely done. Let's see what our final score is. Bit of money there, two six nine. Yes, yeah, so a four dollars worth thing. I was fined, again, $3 for um, C-O-L-L-F-I-S-I-O-N-S. What the hell is that? What, 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 what are we looking at here? Um, like, Penos isn't fine.
$50 at the end of my daily tally. There's $200. Then after three jobs, mo speed goes down 10%. I don't care if, I, if we break the speed limit and go faster. Restarted plan play after four hours. Are you doing like a challenge here? No, I'm just seeing what this slow mo was like. Yeah, let's get that. Ah, okay. So yeah, when you actually hit that point in game where it's eco contracts, the 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 only thing you can do to progress is actually sell your lawnmower and take out a loan. They've actually designed it that way with the game with a game with the game's update. Alright, so. Right. So do you know what somebody else was actually suggesting? That we I mean, don't that we don't trading the initial mower and just take out three small loans and buy an eco, eco mower and swap between the two. Yeah, but the issue is I can't I I couldn't I didn't have room to I didn't have room to buy to, to buy um, another vehicle. Otherwise I would have done that. Yeah. I mean but look at this long while like Like look how fast it's cutting. Yeah. But like look how small like the actual cutting area is. Like it's a really small cutting zone. Okay. I'm just reading I'm just literally reading comments here on Steam. Got good at the starter contracts and more eco contracts and more non eco contracts open up. I had to restart a few times to get better at those because of the same issue. Once I got better at them and completed more non eco contracts, I made enough to trade my mower in for an eco mower without taking out loans. Also, don't hire employees just because you have the option. Build up your money first. I waited until I hit a hundred grand before I hired one person. Then the next time I hit 100k, I hired a second and so on. Doing it that way makes it a lot easier. Now I send them out on jobs while I run around one star levels, picking up dog and people poop. <clears throat> ah, okay. So there's an option. I mean, I don't think we're going to wait until, like, I've uh, hit 100 grand. Maybe, no. like, maybe, like, 30. Which is fair. I think we just need a mower so we can alternate between a regular mower and an eco. The goal has yeah. to pay off loans, get a second mower before we do anything else. Yeah, pay off the loan, get a second mower. I think the thing is, I think I'm going to also save up for the uh, really big hedge trimmer. Like it's a thousand pounds, but like it's got that, it's, it's just got that bigger like swaft that it can cut. I mean, the one that I've got is it's got a swaft of like. 3.4 meters yeah that's like that's like the cutting size um but the other one's got like a swaft of like 4.7 like it's it's like nearly five meters uh, that's a that's a like the that's a big like you're so excited distance. over this you are so excited oh yeah what it, what it thing is it's, it's, it is it's like uh, it, it it's like command and conquer it's like, it's like it, how are we making this comparison? <laughs> because it ignites, it, 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 it ignites all the same sort of like exciting, like things in the bones. I'm just like imagining. we are, we we are, we we have got the lawnmower. Our enemy is the grass, and God damn it, we will conquer them. I know. I'm just imagining, sir, sir. There's too much grass on the field. We need reinforcements. Ah, reinforcements have arrived. Two guys on lawnmowers just gliding in. <laughs> Yeah. Reinforcements? We don't need reinforcements. Into the fray! Yes. <laughs> Into yeah. the fray, gentlemen! Do not spare the quarters! Oh, God. Reinforcements. The women and children! Right. They're the use them as human shields! Break down the shields! Oh, God. Oh, Lord. You guys are sure. Yeah, that's what they're saying. That, 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 that grass better get on his hands and knees and start praying for Jesus, because that's the only way they're going to get saved. 
I have no words. Anyway, would any of you be interested in seeing a part two of this riveting content? Oh yeah, sure would. Who was that? Who was that? You, who was that little girl in the corner? That's uh, very very sick. Yeah, more low and similar if I die. Okay, little girl. Okay, a little girl's just wandered in my house and just asked for more low and similar. We can't we can't deny uh, her dying wish. Okay, is there anybody present in the chat who actually? I, yeah, Frankenstein says, "I Frankenstein says I need part two. I want it. Give it to me." Throw in a snake bite, and you've got a deal. Jacob, there's a snake cider. in my boots. Well, one of you are fifty, guys. Come on, give it to me. One of you are fifty, please. I just want to hit fifty, and I'll feel accomplished. I'm so uh, 50. Give us 50. Uh, I, I have no words. I have no words for any of this randomness, but it's okay. It's all good. Anyway, we'll be back tomorrow, depending on how well rested I am tomorrow night, to finish <laughs> Halo. We're going to be finishing Halo. Which that Halo is... are you doing? I'm sorry, I've not watched any of the Halo streams. Oh, it's like OG Halo 1. Um, so, how are you, because obviously you know your PlayStation, how are you actually playing that? Streaming PC through OBS. I've got PC streaming set up now, dude. That's oh, sweet. Have, you, had, have you got any mods installed? Uh, not for anything I'm playing right now. But, uh, not on the channel at least. Um, to be fair. Um, like, I've been PC streaming for the channel since I'm actually scrolling down. We've actually had an OBS set up for PC streaming since... Bloody hell. I think our first PC stream was actually the beginning of January. Oh, that's good. So we've had do, you know, these... do, you know, is it, do you know what is also good? Hmm. After after all this time, you finally got a way of, play, of streaming PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games. That means you can finally um, play the game that you promised me all those years ago. You're going to have to remind me, it's been a while. A dog life. Oh, a dog's life? Yeah. I've even I've even got, I've got a physical copy at my house, and I will run. I will run to Portugal right now if you say yes. <laughs> you see, I've got a problem there, because remember Jazz from all the way back in 2020? The guy who yes. was watching the channel back in the olden days who became a police officer. Oh, Jazzy Jazzy. Jazzy Jazzy, yeah. He he was literally asking for siphon filter all the way back in 2020, and I still have to give the man siphon filter. What's siphon filter? Never heard of that game. Siphon filter's a PS1 game. Um, Give me a sec. Also, by the way, lots of uh, positive positive messages in the chat. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Halo, Halo CE. Leo Mon says, thanks for the great stream as always. Silver and Mr. Jonathan, I always feel better after being here, even though it was just two men yelling at each other while mowing the lawn. Um, yeah, thanks for this awesome stream. It was a blast for me, though I kept going on and off. See you, Space Cowboy. That's goodbye, by the way. No problem. It's fun watching Jonathan playing this um, stupendous game, or you playing other games. It's all enjoyable. That's cool. Alrighty, anyway... I may be going out tomorrow, depending on how I feel in the morning, and if I want to play modern Yu-Gi-Oh, we'll see. Two dudes and a weed whacker, damn right. But anyway, yeah, just in case I have a train to catch in the morning, I need to go to sleep. So, do you have anything else to say before we do the wind down, Jonathan, or are we good? We're good, have a nice evening, everyone. Eh, yeah, yep, yeah. sounds cool, sounds cool. Anyway, my awesome people, this is where we will leave it then. You will, more than likely, get some, get the last part of Halo 1 tomorrow. And then after that, we may look at streaming some PS1 and PS2 games. We will see about that, I reckon. And um, probably sometime next week. So, as ever, if you are new to the channel, my name is Silver and I am your host. We play a lot of GTA, Resident Evil, retro games and other good stuff. You just heard about Resident Evil 9 being open world. With all due respect, Leomon, I won't believe it till I see it. 
But yeah, also, if you want to be kept up to date with everything we do here, my awesome people, you can follow us on Twitter or X at Silver Gaming Network or by following the handle SilverGaming01. So you always know when we go live and you never miss out on a live stream or video on the channel. And to those of you who want to support us even more than that, you have two options. You can either hit that big red join button for £1.99 a month on the channel and become a channel member. Or you can head over to Silver Gaming Network at Patreon and become a silver patron for £2.50 a month. And every channel member in Silver Patron gets an exclusive shout out at the end of every live stream and pre recorded Let's Play part. And when I finally have some more recording time spare, we will be updating our tiers so that every channel member in Silver Patron gets an exclusive recorded Let's Play part once a week every Friday. And it'll probably be Pokemon Leaf Green. So, yes, what else has been said? Praying it's a rumor, Silver. RE should never be open world. Do you do? Did you see what open world did to Dynasty Warriors, Liam? To be fair, no, it's better that you probably didn't see that. It's a very sad state of affairs, that, and it's uh, probably something that history needs to forget. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, my personal opinion on open world is you need to fill it. Because yeah. the thing is, I would argue that um, Resident Evil Seven is quite open. Is open world. Like that, that where you need to go is linear. But like, say for instance, you complete a bunch of missions in the trap house with all the booby traps, and you're like, oh, actually, um, this, I, I, I finally got the stuff to get the shotgun out of the first area. Right. You can go into the first area. And, like, get it. Resident Evil's always been open linear, as I like to call it. Like, you treat every Resident Evil game, in my opinion, and you will see it when I um, finally play OG Resident Evil 2 live, which uh, may be coming sooner than you think, chat, so keep your eyes on the screen. Oh, be a good chicken, you might see it sooner than you think. Be a good chicken, that's right. So, yeah. Um, Resident Evil's always been designed like a, a giant open puzzle box, as it were, that um, needs to be kind of, you go through, you solve things. It's like a Rubik's Cube that needs um, doing, in a sense. You pick up things, you explore areas, you get puzzles, and it all comes back onto itself for later. Like, puzzle, bo puzzle box is definitely the term I like to use for Resident Evil. So it's, it's semi-open, in a sense, with regards to that. Leo Mon says, was it a right good chicken, Silver? Oh, aye, it were a right good chicken. It were. But yeah, a big thank you for the shocking amount of... The, the, or not The surprising amount of support that Lawnmower Simulator actually got to, like, tonight. Like, if you'd have expected... If you'd have, if you'd have asked me... Did you think anybody was going to come in for this tonight? Honestly, apart from me and Jonathan and maybe Suki and Leomon, I wasn't expecting anything. So the fact that we got people in is um, a good a good one. Anyway, I'm going to stop digressing. And I reckon this is where we are going to leave it. And I should hopefully, if I'm not too tired, be back for more stream tomorrow. I am loyal to a fault. I am a good Leomon. Oh, we know you are. We know you are. Anyway, so, a special thank you to our silver patrons and channel members at the time of this live stream. Mr. Jonathan, Reese Free, Jay, Kota Okami, Jacob the Dabbler, and Julio. It is very much appreciated. <clears throat> and to the rest of you who have stopped in, You've all been super awesome, and thank you very much for stopping in. And I will, of course, see you in the next one. So, guys, I have been Silver, your host. Have a good one, lads. You are quite welcome, Jacob. Same to you. You have a good one as well, dude. I'll see you in the next stream tomorrow, hopefully. But yeah, I have been Silver, your host. Joined by our friend, co-host, and mod, Mr. Jonathan. Thank you again, sir. Been a pleasure. 
Indeedy. We'll be back for some more Lawnmower Simulator or something just for your general enjoyment very soon. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon or night. And we will see you again very soon. Take care, guys.